Welcome back to my channel. This is Isha and today I'm talking about how to stay youthful looking because this was actually requested by one of my subscribers how to stay youthful looking and younger looking in your level up journey how do you manage how do you maintain and all of that so shout out to the chocolate factory i believe that is her name she was the one requesting me to do this talk or to do this video basically so here i am i am no expert in how to look youthful but at the same time i feel like i have lived so many years and especially I have been on this journey of leveling up for a couple of years here is certain things that I've learned and certain things that I have done myself also and what I've heard from others or done my research about or whatever so there are certain things that of course I do know and I can tell you so I think take notes because some of these things might be intense and you really need to know this we're gonna talk about skin to hair to colors to clothes to food to your routines and your habits and your sleep and everything in between so yeah lots of points i have to tell you here so take notes don't forget you can also subscribe to the channel you can also support me on my patreon if you like my kind of content i do talk a lot more about these kinds of things on my patreon especially the things that i'm not able to discuss here publicly which is for example there's a few books that i would like to read and discuss and talk about and because those books are a little controversial their titles are not something i can say out loud here publicly on youtube or facebook so that is something we do exclusive only on my patreon so if you want to support my uh, content you can of course join my membership for my patreon that being said now let's get straight into the video the first point i would like to discuss would be okay let's just get this out of the way because this is the most important your sunblock you need sunblock every single day and i think once you are above the age of 23 24 then there is no other way you need spf 45 plus for sure considering the amount of makeup that we do the pollution we're out and about all the time uh, i don't know which country you're living in whatever the climate is like whether the sun is too harsh or not uv rays still age you and that is just what it is so you need SPF every single day 45 plus remember that you can go all the way up to 50 I don't care but you got to do what you got to do and at the same time don't forget that sunblock is also something you have to continue to retouch during the day reapply your sunblock every two to three hours a day and I know and I understand that could be difficult for example if I am done with my morning skincare routine of course I've already applied my sunblock in the morning right and so if i've done my makeup and i'm out and about then after a few hours it will be really difficult for me to apply the creamy sunblock again over my makeup it's hard right so in that case you have nowadays so many amazing mineral sunscreen powders like you know there's so many brands that do them now there's misha i know i use that it's a japanese brand i believe and then you have well i'll link them down below or maybe i'll put up some pictures here so you will know what i'm talking about and everything will be linked down below also so during the day you can always touch up your makeup with that powder because uv rays age you the fastest and the quickest also if you're living in a country where there is a lot of sunshine which unfortunately here in london i'm always craving for sunshine but it's not always there anyhow that being said if you are in a climate where there is a lot of hotness a lot of sun then um here is one little tip please go out wearing like a hat maybe like a scarf and really big designer glasses they don't have to be designer but i'm just saying big glasses and shades or whatever you call them sunglasses you have to do that because it keeps your eyes protected also because don't forget the area around your eyes is very delicate and it does get damaged and ages the quickest if that makes sense and so does your ears so don't forget to apply spf on your ears on your neck on your hands on your feet as soon as you step out and the hat will give you another protection the glasses will give you another layer of protection and so try to keep your skin as protected as possible in fact there is some ladies i know there's this one burlesque dancer called dira one tease i hope i'm pronouncing it right she does not even step out in the sun at all and if you look at her i think she's probably probably in her 50s or whatever but you can actually tell she has not aged ever since i have seen her years ago look at her now and she looks literally still the same person one thing that she's always strictly done is that she stayed away from the sun and i truly believe 
this is the reason why she still looks that way. So if you're talking about how to stay youthful, SPF is going to be your best friend and that's step number one out of the way now let's get to the next point okay here's another little tip that you have to take care of next time you go for a shower you go to the gym you go to the sauna and spa or whatever please wash your face before you go in there it's so important i think even i'm guilty of that sometimes i just go take a shower while i still have makeup on and that's not the right thing you'll be doing for yourself that will age you and the reason is because you're going to be getting into a hot shower if it's not hot it's probably warm right and your makeup is not washed off and sometimes i think with all of us girls the showers can get very steamy the room could get really steamy and that steam while you still have makeup on or traces of makeup on that steam is actually opening up your pores and that makeup is actually gonna go in and sit within your pores making your pores larger wash your face before you get into the shower cleanse your face and talking about cleansers i really love using hydrating cleansers and this is what you should always be using anyway, especially now since we are getting into autumn and winters around the corner and I'm already stressed about it. But use hydrating uh, cleansers like I think CeraVe has the best cleanser. CeraVe hydrating cleanser is the best cleanser I have ever used and I have combination skin, but during winter time my skin goes quite dry and this is the only cleanser that I rave about all the time another thing i really recommend you to use a toner and the toner that i use is our youth low toner from isha cosmetics i love using my own product all the time because it really does work especially to keep those pores tight you know so after cleansing use the youth glow toner and you're set your skin will be kind of milky and glowy and tight and it will also not lose any hydration it's gonna stay hydrated and moist and soft and glowy and that's what we need especially if you want to look youthful right the next point i could tell you is that when you go to the gym next time please take advantage of the steam room i think sometimes we kind of skip that part but once a week or twice a week i think i will allow you to do this only twice a week and not more than that once a week is good enough too where you just get into the steam room and make sure again have no makeup on no creams on nothing on nothing 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 okay like there should be no product on skin on any part of your body it, what you can do however which i love to do also is a very great tip i like to wash my hair first as in shampoo my hair first because i have a lot of hair yeah it takes time so i shampoo my hair first then i apply my hair conditioning mask and this is on the days where I want to do a deep conditioning I apply the deep conditioning mask and with that mask I just kind of like make a little bun and then with that mask I get into the steam room it kind of works as a deep conditioning treatment for my hair where the mask really gets penetrated into my hair and the hair comes out really really soft and shiny and the mask works 100 times better if you give it some steam or some kind of heat and steam is not really heat as in heat heat steam is still kind of hydration at the same time does that make sense because it's still water right so and it's great for your body also i think every time i get out of the steam room i feel like my skin is tight i'm flushed i'm all pinky pinky you know and just cute and pretty and everything is cleansed and i just feel amazing that definitely does help you also stay kind of detoxified and cleansed and youthful at the same time so these are a few things that you have to take care of moving next let's talk about your hair so recently i have been doing a little bit of color education or color theories as you call it so what i've learned is in simple words let me just give you two tips here i have warm skin tones and with warm skin tones here is something i never realized before which is i used to do brown hair a lot with like a hint of red so red kind of medium brown hair I would do gold blonde um, highlights by the way gold blonde already is warm red brown is very warm my skin tone is warm so that altogether never matches it's not a good idea to do that what I should be doing with a warm skin tone is go towards ashy colors if I do highlights let's say they should be very very ashy if I do hair color it should be like a medium brown like auburn brown where it is enough cold tones as well as warm tones so that i don't look washed out and pale even if i have for example i have black hair at the moment 
I made sure it's kind of like cool black not not a very warm black does that make sense because the warmer it goes the, the, the paler I start looking in my face so this is something I just recently learned and realized I never knew this before so I, I would suggest you should know your skin tone if you're cool toned then you can get away with warmer hair colors but if you have warm skin tone like me then make sure whatever color you pick has to have enough cold tones to it does that make sense the less warmer the better your skin will look so that's that so make sure you take care of whatever hair color you pick it, it transforms your whole look when you choose the right hair color for yourself and it's also crazy how the right kind of hair color can make you look either older washed out or very youthful and the same goes with haircuts also sometimes if you have a nice cute face you can get away with uh, curtain bangs i think they're very trending nowadays which i really love but i don't want to have anything now i think i just grow my hair and have everything long i don't want the small fringes to my face anymore because i have a big fat face already as in it's a round face heart shaped face whatever and so i really kind of don't like the look of bangs on me anymore but if you have a long nice face you can easily get away with bangs they also make you look a lot younger i think you will notice as soon as you cut curtain bangs or just normal bangs whatever you will look a lot younger fuller shinier hair make you look younger and if you want fuller hair don't forget to use your glam growth hair oils from isha cosmetics because they will stop your hair fall also adding volume at the same time to your hair and that is what i use for my hair also and of course i think many of the girls in my community use that now the more volume the more shine the right color the right cut that transforms your whole look whether you're gonna look youthful or old it really depends on what's going on over your head basically my next point uh, hear me out okay don't be hating on me don't come for me but I have to say this I have a community here where I do see recently a lot of new subscribers that are not Muslim and that's fine of course my channel is open to everybody and I love everybody so I see a lot of you know white girls black girls African Asian everything everything I have on my channel and I'm really happy about that so I have to say this one thing if you are somebody who drinks I have to tell you drinking makes you old so fast so fast it's cr stop stop drinking and if you still want to if you you know have a social circle sometimes socially have to drink or you know the atmosphere calls for it what you do instead is just have a glass of red wine and call it a day not more than one that's that any kind of alcohol in your body there's variations of alcohol it's just not right for your skin it really ages you very fast to be honest when I see somebody especially a woman I can already tell she drinks a lot just by looking at her face there is something about people's faces that you can tell whatever they consume you know does that make sense and I'm not here judging anyone but I'm just saying when you drink too much there is a certain look a worn out look you will have on your eyes your eyes will also have a lot more fine lines around them and you just know like i just know when i see people who drink too much you know so alcohol really messes up your face a lot and can i just say it kind of distorts your facial features in a way if that makes sense the only thing i would allow you girls is just have a fine glass of red wine because the thing is red wine is very anti-aging that is one good thing you can do yes it does have calories but uh, hello even frizzy drinks and juices have calories so we're not going to go there but we're talking about drinks cut down any kind of alcohol that you consume zero okay the only thing socially that is acceptable is do red wine here and there and the thing for that is red wine is very good for your heart good for your health good for your skin and it also has this chemical this one um, ingredient in it called um, i can't pronounce it right sorry if i'm wrong um in the pronunciation which i always am but reservatrol that's what it's called now you can google this thing and this is that one ingredient or uh, substance which is very expensive and it's very very anti-aging like if you buy reservatrol just on its own it's a very expensive ingredient to buy and people buy that in, in powder form to eat it for anti-aging to literally reverse their aging cycle and it actually tends to work there's so many studies and research is done on that 
and I did some research on that too just to find out what's going on and everything else and I came across this years ago so I always kind of knew this but just for the sake of this video I had to mention it for you girls that whoever drinks make sure cut down everything else but this one thing you can do here and there again not more than a glass socially here and there all right whatever next point okay let's talk about berries I love berries I, I freeze my blueberries strawberries raspberries whatever berries families we have I freeze them together and I make a smoothie every day or I just grab some frozen berries and throw them into a bowl of Greek yogurt and I eat that every day uh, probably sometimes I would take uh, my tablet with it which is a zinc tablet or maybe some vitamin C or maybe what else did I take recently or collagen well I've stopped taking collagen for now I'm just really focusing more on health and exercise and all those sorts of things which already boosts enough collagen anyway so I don't really think I need extra collagen I do have a very detailed video on supplements you should take for your skin and health and hair and well-being so you can watch that it's a very intense informative video I did a few months ago it's on the channel you can watch it later for now let's continue watching this video for now so berries you need honey you need berries in your life berries have the most amount of vitamin C first of all like just a handful of berries has a lot of vitamin C number one number two it has so much antioxidant which again is gonna play a good part in keeping your skin looking plumpy youthful glowy and healthy and it will give you a lot of collagen boost also because it has a lot of vitamin c you know just go right now or go tomorrow make a list and just buy all the damn berries you can get hold of and just just freeze them you know or, or buy fresh every day if you can so that's that and talking about vitamin c in your food intake i have to also say you have to use vitamin c as a serum every day on your face that is one thing that will keep you very very youthful looking also vitamin c is so important on your face also in your diet obviously i think two things i can tell you i think spf we already gotten that out of the way that was our point number one point number two i should have already mentioned vitamin c should be your second thing on your skin every single day after cleansing toning you apply your serums which should be a vitamin c serum and if you want me to do a video on serums and stuff let me know i'll do more keep actually keep letting me know whatever next topics you want me to do and then you know once a week or so i'll just sit down here at this spot which i love this spot this is my recording video spot and i will talk just sit down and talk and tell you what to do and not to do and stuff like that but anyway vitamin c serum should go on your face every single day actually okay and then talking about vitamin c let's get to retinol if you are anything above the age of 25 26 you need to start using anti-aging skincare and, and when we talk anti-aging retinol is the first thing that comes in my mind and there's a misconcept people have that retinol makes your skin thin no it doesn't retinol works on the upper layer of your skin it doesn't go that deep down to you know that deep enough to make your skin thin there is no science behind that does that make sense so yeah please use your retinols and in fact i would suggest use retinols on your feet honey i do that too hands your neck your ears and your face it will pay off just trust me on that it will make it useful glowy um you will still have that elasticity so it's a very anti-aging thing obviously we know that and there's so many other benefits which we are not going to get into in this video obviously but it's just such an important thing that should be going on your face more often than you think and no it doesn't have to be applied every day and every night by the way but yeah apply that during the night time with your moisturizers because retinol can be a little drying so i don't recommend applying retinol during the daytime you know I would love to apply retinol during the night time because then it has that time to sit on your face you know without interrupting with any makeup or whatever and it also has the time to work with your moisturizer and not to make your skin as dry if you use it in the day too much I notice that it makes my skin very dry and that's just what I, s I have observed anti-aging skincare is very important vitamin C every day and a retinol here and there in the night time now another thing i kind of get under my videos quite a lot how do you always stay so you know you have this fresh young vibe and you know all that i think a part of that is because a i'm an aries i think we will always have like this little bit of naivete to us you know a little bit of that <laughs> oops <laughs> you know that silliness um so that's that and i think when you have this kind of bubbly fun 
sassy personality you do come across very young even if you get very old whatever you always come across younger than you really are you know um, and I mean there is also this disadvantage because then people don't really take you that seriously but at the same time it's good because at the same time who doesn't want to be perceived as younger than they are I think everybody does duh so however now not everybody can mimic this kind of an aura does that make sense but what there are certain things that you can do which is please have a softer voice easy body language easy hand gestures softer not only vocally but also with your movements overall don't move your head around like too harshly you know be soft and have that kind of a flowy movement I don't know. <laughs> just don't move your hands too much too harshly like have a little bit of that flowy softer movement does that make sense somehow I don't know how to explain but you get the point right and also I think with everything with everything really if you're a hyper energetic person kind of like me then it's so hard for us to stay still at one place like we're always moving our heads our eyes our mouth our you know our hands like it's crazy but you just need to practice and the more in control you are and the more reserved and well composed you are the more kind of sexy you come across you know and it does add to your aura that's all I'm trying to say you want to be youthful but at the same time be able to be taken seriously also so be very well composed and soft and feminine for sure also speak a little softer don't be like <laughs> Don't laugh like that you know uh, no. again I don't want to shame anyone I'm not judging but I do see a lot of women that you kind of take pride in being very <laughs> so where are you going like you know like little bossiness I mean I don't know if it's, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even call it bossiness I think boss you should be a boss with your work you know I am once I get it like we got to get stuff done and we have to be bossy but there is a time and occasion for that it's not with everyone and everywhere no 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 you know you have to be yourself and be okay with your feminine energy rather than trying to mimic men or somebody in power you don't need power you need a beautiful life you're not aiming for power does that make sense let the men aim for that or whatever but i'm just saying you know uh, don't laugh like ha oh, ha no <laughs> whatever <laughs> and get it done with okay and stop taking pride in being so intimidating and scary and loud and crazy you know it's one thing to be that way I think maybe even I was a little bit crazy and loud I'm not gonna lie but at the same time I wasn't proud of that does that make sense it's one thing to be that way but if you're proud of that, that's the problem. You don't want to be proud of these things, honeys. No. Let's talk about sleeping patterns. Okay, we, I think I'm not going to bore you with this kind of detail where, oh, you have to sleep and... Okay, whatever. We all know that. What I'm going to tell you, one thing. Your body knows your clock. Like, your, your, your body has a clock, right? And your body knows your sleeping clock. If you disturb that, your body will know. If you don't sleep on time, if you don't wake up on time, if you're stressing too much, you know all those things, using your phone too much in the night or whatever and not really letting yourself sleep even though you know you're sleepy, your body knows. Your body has a sleeping clock. It's set. You should observe what time that is. This is your job. You owe this to your body to listen to it. What time does it want to sleep? Allow it to sleep. Does that make sense? If it's 11 p.m. 10 p.m. I don't care whatever even if it is 1 a.m. in the morning if that's the time your body wants to go to sleep you go to sleep you make sure you go to sleep your body also knows whether it needs four hours of sleep or six or seven listen different bodies are kind of structured in a different way in that sense I think when we talk about men or very successful driven men for example they need only four hours and they're so they're always so high on energy and high on money and high on power and high on work they don't want no more sleep they're good with four hours then you have the students who definitely need six seven hours otherwise they get too stressed they can't function they're not good at studies otherwise and stuff like that 
Then you have the working women. They also need healthy amount of sleep at least seven hours. But when they're not able to complete seven to eight hours, then oh my God, they can't function properly, right? So everybody is different in every stages of life. Since I'm catering here to women most of the time, so let's talk about ladies. Ladies, well, we call it beauty sleep for a reason. So ladies do need their beauty sleep. And one thing I have also observed with my personal self is when I don't sleep enough and I'm not listening to my body when it needs to go to sleep, Honestly, I feel like I look like an ugly person. Does that make sense? Like it just kind of makes me look shrunk. I feel like I have lost extra weight when I'm not sleeping enough. I look skinny in the face and my face looks just weird. My nose looks bigger and my cheeks are gone. And it's just, yeah, that's that. So you want to look youthful? You need a lot of sleep. Sleep like a baby, honestly. And your skin, it will show. It, it, it will actually show. It will look plumpy, fresh, cleaner make sure your skincare is on point cleaner for sure and i mean it's amazing when you are done with your nighttime skincare routine and now you allow yourself to sleep enough your skin looks so much better and you look so much more youthful if you also want to keep looking youthful please can i also say you have to smile a lot more honestly smiling faces are vibrant the fuse is on the bulbs are on you light up the room when you enter a room and stuff this is how your presence should be and you cannot achieve that with like this face mm -mm. this is a moody face this is a psychotic face this is like a psycho isha isha's got problems oh my god she's got family issues maybe oh my god she's got childhood issues or whatever so this is how it makes you look like so don't don't be walking around town thinking a serious face is gonna make me look very attractive because honestly it's not and if that even attracts people to you it attracts the wrong kind of friends to you it attracts the wrong kind of even partners to you or whatever because think about it you attract what you are and if you are walking like this you've got issues you don't want to smile because smiling is too much effort for you then with that kind of energy you're going to attract something of similar nature which you might not want you'll be like oops ah let's start over again because i i clearly just didn't attract the right kind of thing that I actually wanted so fix yourself okay there's nothing cool about what do you call it the resting bitch face whatever it's old now get your shit together you need to be smiling honey let's talk about screen time I love that now Instagram has this timer thing if you go to your settings you will see Instagram has this timer thing where you can set it to I think we've talked about this in one of my previous videos also make sure you binge watch all my videos so you'll know um, and let me know which video that was because I totally forgot but when you have too much screen time that really messes up your face and you don't look that young okay uh, coming back to Instagram Instagram has this timer thing you can set where it gives you like a budge or a nudge <laughs> as soon as you complete that time frame so I have set it to I think 30 minutes so even if I'm on Instagram for 10 minutes 20 and if I come back to it later or whatever and if I have completed 30 minutes today on Instagram it's gonna give me like this nudge and say oh you've completed 30 minutes for today I'll be like check out I'm out and that's my relationship with Instagram I never see people's stories I don't scroll I have no clue what's going on until and unless it's very important then of course um, but usually I'm not nosy I don't care I don't compare none of that I just don't have energy for that and I think what helps me in this is that timer that Instagram has 30 minutes up honey get out of here you know and to be honest I have become so good at that that now I don't even complete 30 minutes is that a budget or is that a nudge I don't know you get the point right like it just never gets to that point where it would give me that alarm hey 30 minutes complete like i'm already out there the more screen time you have the more dark circles you get again when somebody has too much screen time sometimes you can tell you know like their eyes are a little lifeless there is no shine in their eyes their pupils look a little dull and dry you know so too much screen time to be honest i think i can relate to that also because the days when I have too much work, deadlines and stress with Isha Cosmetics, oh my god. I don't sleep enough, my screen time goes over the roof. I look like a zombie in those days. Like, I, honestly, I have those days where I look so rusty and crusty and so weird and old and just not myself. And if I would even come online during those days, you'll be like, is that Isha? Ew. You know, like, I have those days. 
um, and of course during those days I kind of go undercover because I don't want anybody to see me uh, but those are just working days where it's just very tough and rough for me but once I'm done with that then I know okay let's get back to life I can't do this anymore this is it you know but yeah I do have those days and what makes it worse is that screen time laptop TV, Netflix, mobile, 24 seven. You know, even if I'm in the toilet, I have no break. I am literally still working on my phone and that gives me dark circles, very bad skin. You won't believe how much screen time affects the health of your skin and the elasticity of your skin also. So you wanna look youthful? Decrease your um, screen time. Watch my videos, yes. After this, that's that, done. No more screen time. <laughs> let's talk clothes okay I think when it comes to clothes everybody should have a personalized style I do recommend go go for a stylist and they will tell you your colors your color theme you should always go for and you know all those good stuff and you should know your materials I think I have again uh, lots of different videos on the topic how to look elegant how to look expensive I have those kinds of videos on my channel where you can see I have talked about what material to use and what to avoid and stuff like that even if you're buying at let's say Topshop and Zara there's still certain things you can actually get and get away with but then other things no so how do you pick well watch my previous videos and if you want more I'll do more on that but talking about clothes I need you to start investing in good quality pieces and that may mean that you will do less shopping way less shopping you have to become very mindful of that and stop shaming yourself for that I've had uh, this few comments even under my previous videos oh you're going freestyling Harvey Nichols and you buy only ordinary skincare <laughs> well yeah what were you expecting me to do buy the whole damn store like, what what i didn't go for shopping i went for having a coffee i go shopping only when i know what i need what exactly i want and i'll either get it online or I'll go to the store or whatever but that's that so you have to do mindful conscious shopping you know no unnecessary shopping like it's your damn hobby no that's just what you do to satisfy your ego to look cute to look cool whatever you don't need to do that because if you keep wasting your energy and time and also your money on hobby shopping you will never be able to invest in the right kind of good stuff that you actually need because your mind is too cluttered with all the basic things, you know? So every time you go to a certain place, you just come out with so many handbags. You just come out with bags full of unnecessary clothes and cheap items and why do you need that? Save all that time, save that energy and save that mind space and save that money so you can invest in few less pieces but really good quality pieces that will last you for so long. To be honest, let's be honest, it doesn't take too much money to look expensive. Can I just start there? All you have to do is stop hobby shopping, okay? And don't shame yourself for that. You, you gotta do, you, you need to know your purpose. You know, you need to know your goal and then just go for it. You're gonna do mindful, conscious shopping and you will know what to buy and what not to buy and try to only buy things. First of all, great material. Think cotton, silk, leaden, cashmere, um, leather. Again, I know some people are against leather. Well, I'm not, but whatever. There's so many more, actually just a few more that are original, real. And then there's a few more that are original and real fibers. Other fibers like, do you, what do we have? Spandex, polyester, acrylics, the worst. It makes your body stink it's just not the right material it, it should not touch your skin well for some of us we have allergy but it just generally is not healthy for your skin because it doesn't let your skin breathe and i know that this point has nothing to do with looking useful but maybe in one way it does because i think looking useful is a combination of overall things it's not just one thing it's it's a combination of things think shiny hair youthful fuller hair youthful glowy skin skincare youthful right um nice toned body youthful soft tone soft voice youthful 
pretty soft smile youthful full of life eyes youthful less drinking less screen time full of life eyes remember we talked about this nicely fitted clothes youthful nicely curated clothes youthful nice colors youthful the right hair color youthful the right clothing color very youthful the right kind of shoes youthful does that make sense it, it is a combination of a lot of things which is why i think this video is going to be super long but take notes as i said good skincare youthful spf every day retinol here and there vitamin c's youthful no drinking none of that like and, and to be honest it's not just about drinking because um there's also so many products that we eat for example i love tiramisu there are certain cakes i like so when i eat those at cafes of course they have alcohol in there duh it is what it is it's really bad for your skin and you don't even know there's many many things you eat look in the fridge and you will see in the ingredients list oh it has alcohol in there oops you know there's many things like that we don't realize but there is alcohol in so many things nowadays there's alcohol in your skincare also so avoid that at all costs and you'll be fine youthful <laughs> exfoliation youthful exfoliate your skin once a week probably with a nice i think it's called aha bha from ordinary you also have mandalic acid that i recently bought in my previous vlog video you will see that i'm using that this is just a quick update i am using um, mandelic acid and amino acid every night at the moment on my skin um, and sometimes i switch it because sometimes i want to use my retinol which is only twice or thrice a week but the rest of the days i'm doing mandelic acid so i'm doing cleansing mandelic acid amino acids and then a moisturizer and i go to sleep it's okay i mean it's just been three days or four days uh, we'll see all i need is good exfoliation good hydration and my skin is fine and i'm happy and i need a good sleep beauty sleep and I'll still look useful but at the same time don't forget guys it's also about not just the looks it's also about how you feel on the inside do yoga I think working out is the best anti-aging you can do for yourself but at the same time working out getting in shape it just gets those happy hormones going in your body that naturally make you feel youthful getting enough sleep also gets those hormones in your body that make you look taller well when you were younger that's something that made you taller but now what it's going to do it's going to give you more collagen in your body and make your skin more plumpy and glowy you know and it also makes you happy have you noticed how some people when they go depressed they sleep a lot because sleeping actually does make you happy you know if you think about it there's anyway we're not going to get into the science of that but yeah sleeping is anti-depressing it's also anti-aging so there you go and how you feel from the inside plays such a big part in how you are going to come across as you know if you're feeling dull and miserable and didn't sleep enough and my skin looks bad and all of that then well you will not be perceived as useful so you have to have all of these things on point and yes it's very hard it's 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 a lot of small things you got to do and it's a daily job you have to do being a girl is of course a hard job anyway and then being a girl who wants to level up is even more harder hmm? it is and that's the price you pay you know you have to be a bit uncomfortable sometimes there is gonna be a little bit of discomfort sometimes it's gonna be maybe expensive for some of you sometimes oh my lights but anyway it's gonna be a little expensive for some of you sometimes especially in the beginning but that's the price you pay and you'll be fine I think investing in yourself is the best thing you can do and I think on that note I'm gonna end this video because it's a very long video if you guys want like a part two of this video then please do let me know and now go watch my previous videos and until my next videos take care of yourself take care of your well-being and don't forget to uh, you know follow me on instagram i'm very active on instagram and engage with my post a little bit okay and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and support me on my patreon if you'd like to i share a lot of stuff with my members only on my patreon bye